In this lesson, we will calculate the potential process capability and critical process capabilities based on measured raw data of a characteristic and evaluate the result. And hello again to this lesson, which essentially has two learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate the machine and process potential yourself. You should also understand the effect of spread on the machine potential, so that you can use this knowledge as a starting point for improvement. Second, after this lesson, you should be able to calculate the critical machine and process capabilities. In addition to the spread, you should know the influence of the process location on the process capability in order to be able to use also this knowledge as a starting point for improvements. This lesson is divided into two chapters. In the first chapter, we will use an example to calculate and evaluate the potential machine or process capability. In the second chapter, we will do the same for the critical machine and process capability. So let's start with the calculation of the potential machine and process capability and discuss how this can be improved. Basic knowledge of the capability indexes is required for this. If these are not yet available, you are welcome to look at the previous lessons. In this case study, it is to be examined whether the machine or the process is able to meet the demands in terms of capabilities. Since the calculation methods are the same, we only consider the machine here as a representative. The machine potential, CM, should be at least 1.67 and the machine capability should be greater than or equal to 1.33. From the current production, 20 samples were taken and measured on five different days. The measured diameter of the piston was entered in the table. The nominal size is 60.1 mm with an allowable tolerance of plus minus 0.1 mm. The formulas for the machine and process potential are shown on the left hand side. Likewise for the critical capabilities. Before we use these in the further course of our calculations, very briefly to the abbreviations used. CM is the index for the potential machine capability. CMK is the critical machine capability index. CPK is the index for the critical process capability index. LSL and USL are the lower and upper specification limits. So the minimum and maximum size of the piston. S is the standard deviation of all measured values and X bar is the arithmetic mean of the values for which the capabilities are to be calculated. Before we can start calculating the machine potential, one more requirement must be checked. The distribution of the values should correspond as closely as possible to a normal distribution. Because the calculations presented here are based on this assumption. The raw data does not show how the values are distributed. The simplest way of visualizing a value distribution is in a histogram in addition to displaying it in a tally. If the values are distributed as shown here, this should suffice for us as proof of a normal distribution. For other distributions, the calculation should be carried out using dedicated software. In addition to the lower and upper specification limits, which can for example be taken from a production drawing, we also need the standard deviation of all measured values. The standard deviation of a sample can be calculated with MS Excel and the stdev.s function. The value for S is 0.026 mm or rounded up to 0.03. Since we will also need the arithmetic mean later to calculate the capabilities, we will do that here at the same time. X bar has a value of 60.11 
mm. The values just calculated for S and X bar have been transferred to the table on the left. If we insert the corresponding values into the formula for the machine potential, a value of 1.11 is calculated for CM. However, since CM should be greater than or equal to 1.67, the machine does not meet the requirement. If the tolerance has to remain unchanged, the only way to improve the capability is to improve the machine. This means to reduce the spread. In this case, let's assume that some measures have been taken to reduce the spread of the machine. Such measures could be, for example, replacing the machine with a more suitable one or reducing plane relevant bearings or keeping the ambient temperature constant or measures to reduce vibrations and so on. In any case, after the improvement measures have been implemented, another 100 samples were produced and the diameters measured. The new values can be found in the table. As can be seen, the spread has been reduced, which is reflected in the new standard deviation of just 0.012 mm. Although we don't need it right now, the new mean is 60.065 mm. With the improved standard deviation, a machine potential of 2.78 is now calculated. This fulfills the minimum requirement for CM of 1.67. In this chapter, we now calculate the critical machine capability index based on the previous data. The critical machine capability can be found with the distance between the process location, this is the process mean, and the specification limit is the smallest. As can be clearly seen here, the distance between the lower specification limit and the process location is the smallest. If you insert the values into the formula, a value of 1.81 is calculated for CMK. The machine thus meets the required capability of at least 1.33. If you wanted to improve the value of 1.81, you could adjust the process and shift the process location closer to the nominal size. If one managed to have these congruent in the best case, the process capability would be improved from 1.81 to 2.78. Well, that was a lot of new information. Therefore, I would like to conclude by repeating the three most important key messages. Reducing the spread improves the potential machine and potential process capability. Reducing the spread also improves the critical machine and critical process capability. A deviation of the process location from the center between the specification limits reduces the critical machine and critical process capability. If you found this lesson helpful, Please let me know and leave a comment. Thank you for that. Take care and see you next time. Bye.